okay now this is the first time we are bringing to you the sid that is the solution innovation district in uh, oka the capital city of anapra state and in this video i'm going to reveal to you guys why it is called a district yes there is a reason behind calling it a district and you're going to hear everything about this uh, project in this uh, maiden edition of this district under construction by governor charles Soludo. you know that is why a number of people you know employed governor charles Soludo to do these jobs yes they have looked around and they see that uh, he is the one that is uh, capable of uh, handling this position as at uh, the time of uh, electing him yes uh, personally i'm not surprised if i see such uh, projects and other innovative you know projects going on in anambra state i will not be surprised because uh, Soludo himself, like I heard, is a consultant to about 57 countries all over the world. So we expect more, you know, more of these kind of uh, innovative projects and uh, more of that in our dear state. So actually, I want to show you the exact location of this uh, solution innovation district coming from uh, Nubonicha Expressway. Here is a Roma flyover. From here, we are going to move down straight just a few meters after the flyover, or oh, sorry, overpass construction at uh, Fite. So when we are done with this flyover, we are going to meet the overpass construction shortly after that will be at a solution innovation district in Oka, one of its kinds in the, this part of the world. And uh, you know, the place is being modeled after, the idea is after the Silicon Valley of uh, the United States. You know, Silicon Valley is located in the California of the uh, United States. So from here now, we've just passed the overpass construction. That job is why it's progressing. You know, we brought to you the update just previous uh, day concerning uh, what is going on at that project site. And uh, we hope that very soon that project will be completed and uh, that place will be put into use. Yes, uh, we are going to the SID, the Solution Innovation District, that is the location in the present government house. That is the location. The district uh, is located, like I said, in the present government house. That's the temporary site where government is located now. That is uh, where we are going. So shortly, we are going to be at the SID, so you have the first-hand view of that uh, project that is going on within the Oka and the, the present government house in particular. Well, I'm going to give us a rundown of uh, where this project was borrowed from, which is uh, the Northern California, the place they called Silicon Valley. Well, uh, this Silicon Valley is a region in Northern California, USA, known, and uh, it is known as the global hub for technology, innovations, and uh, startups. It is home to major tech companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, which is Meta, and uh, Tesla, as well as countries, startups, and uh, venture capital firms. Yes, you can see the entrance into the construction site of the administrative block of uh, the SID. Then the idea behind Silicon Valley 
he said, what I'm going to just scratch a bit before we continue. The concept of a Silicon Valley revolves around innovations, entrepreneurship, and uh, technological advancement. Yes, look at this uh, 3D pictures here. This one you are looking at now is the one under construction. And all these ones, all these 10 story buildings, they are going to be constructed around this place. You know, why it is called a district, why it is called Solution Innovation District. District is an area that is being mapped out for special something. It could be government activity, it could be like what is happening here, technical hub, it could be a commercial area. So this one is a tech hub, a district marked out for tech hub. So the plan is that these three days pictures that you saw so many buildings is that the entire of this place that's the old government house area, the whole of that area will be converted into a district of a technical hub. And the buildings you just saw those uh, tall buildings, 10 story, you know, eight story, 12 story buildings are going to be built within this uh, government house premises. Wow. Well, I just uh, learned that and uh, the pictures I show you that uh, you've just saw now is what is going to be on ground on this uh, entire premises. What you are looking at now is just one building of uh, the entire buildings, which is the administrative block. This one is just the administrative block. More are going to be awarded for the construction of the district. Yes, you now know the reason why it is called a district. So now I am going to tell you what the Anambra State Government plans to do with this entire area, which is the district of uh, Tech Hub. Their plans is similar to what the what is obtainable in the United States, Northern California, talking about the Silicon Valley. Well, uh, I don't know if uh, such thing is in existence in Nigeria. So, but um, congratulations to a number of people. We hope to see this project comes to completion in a very near future. Well, this building you are looking at is almost done and dusted. It's about two-story building. By the time you know it, they they will complete the you know concrete work and the block work will start immediately. Then the Anambra State Government established the Solution Innovation District SID to foster a vibrant tech and the entrepreneurial ecosystem within the state. SID aims to bridge the digital scale gap by providing training programs that empower individuals with uh, the necessary competencies for employment and technological entrepreneurship. Additionally, it offers business incubation, mentorship, startup investment opportunities, and the co-working spaces to support the growth of uh, startups and the entrepreneurs. By enhancing the innovation landscape, SID aligned with the state's vision of becoming a hub for human development and uh, cultivating a digital proficient workforce. Wow, that's a very big uh, you know, innovative plan coming from uh, the governor of Anambra State, Governor Charles Salud. By the time this place becomes functional, man, in the next five, ten years, Anambra State will start ripping the fruits of its labor that uh, is being cultivated here in the SID 
Innovation District. So guys, this will be a wonderful place when it is uh, completed and then uh, becomes functional because skilled people will be coming out from this place, feeding the whole you know, uh, state and uh, beyond the state. But the major question now is, are there plans put in place to keep people that um, have been trained, you know, under this uh, um, innovations, are their ways, are their plans to keep them, you know, within the state and within the Nigeria? Because like what is happening now, everybody is looking for greener pastures. So, but um, <laughs> that is the issue. <laughs> So, but what uh, the basic thing is to have these people trained, you know, but um, majority now is looking for a way out of this country. But few people could be trapped within the country and they will be beneficial to the state and they beyond. So, but what are the things, what do you think that the government need to do further to keep these people when they have been trained from traveling abroad. Well, to me, I think um, finding a way to create job is vital. You know, investing in industries that generate employment, such as uh, technology manufacturing and agriculture. So I believe that the uh, government by now should have plans of uh, bringing in or establishing industries that will, you know, accommodate these people and uh, keep them within Nigeria so that the government of Anambra State and Nigeria at large will benefit from their experience. Then another idea that I think will be vital is to support the entrepreneurs, you know, provide access to funding, reduce business registration bottlenecks and create a stable economic environment that is very very important generally these are the things that keeps a country going then we talk about competitive salaries then we can ensure that uh, better wages to match global standard, especially for professionals in healthcare, IT, and education. A typical example is uh, what is happening in healthcare. Have they been able to match the global standard to what is obtainable in this country? The answer is no. They were unable to do that. That's why people keep jabbering out of this country on daily basis. Well, that is a typical example. So uh, I just want to chip in these things so that um, we can actually have plans on uh, what to do when these guys are out of this place. Then, um, then we cannot uh, omit, you know, upgrading hospitals, provide modern equipment, well-paid medical staff and better working condition that is very important to keep people within the country because our health care <laughs> wahala health care is an issue so but we need to improve on these things especially this health care to give people a sense of responsibility and belonging in the country where they are and where they are working. Then um, what about health insurance and benefits? Yes, we have health insurance. The uh, Anambra State, uh, ASHA, Anambra State have it. The national level, they have it. But um, talking about how functional and effective they are is very important. Then um, the what about the security? You know, enhancing security and infrastructural, you know, is very important. Because insecurity is one of the things that drives people away from uh, this country. 
it is very important that we tackle the insecurity of which the governor has invested on it and uh, probably we have started uh, experiencing a turnaround in the security situation in Anambra State and we can beat our chest that Anambra is becoming safe and uh, there is more to do to enhance uh, this safety in Anambra State. Then um, address kidnapping, banditry and general instability through effective law enforcement and justice reforms, you know, which uh, these things are ongoing now in a number of states. And um, we are quite uh, happy to see some changes happening in the state. Then uh, good governance and political stability. Well, um, <laughs> good governance, um, narrowing it down to a number of states, yes, there is an improvement in governance and um, also um, people are experiencing it with uh, some improvement in infrastructural development. Yes. Then uh, youth participation in leadership. Well, they need to encourage the youths to participate in uh, leadership uh, positions and uh, not uh, leaving everything to the older people the older people have been there for long. And the uh, other thing is, uh, are the youths ready to take the mantle of leadership? Of course, yes, to some great extent. Then uh, the cultural and national pride campaign. This is where the issue is, where there is foundational issues. It's very difficult to get these things done, to get that national pride. <laughs> that natural, you know, campaign that uh, we need to use to increase our pride in our country that is uh, greatly lacking. When every day they will write a book and say that uh, they are sorry that uh, it is not an ebook book and uh, these things keep happening when people, some section of the country has suffered to some great extent and uh, every day by day they will come out and make some revelations. How do we expect to function well in such situation? Though I give kudos to our people because they are very resilient and uh, those things do not affect their focus in what they are doing. So with this, I come to the end of this video. Until I come your way next time, I say bye for now.